So for this week's In Business, the Chocolate Ox in Niswa is a family-run candy store that is known for their truffle chocolates and premium ice cream. Chantel Calhoun has a story. Upon entry, the Chocolate Ox is like a sweet land of nostalgia. One would quickly notice the mountains of chocolate in the display case and patrons waiting patiently for the new flavor of premium ice cream. We have a full truffle case from um, smaller truffles to grand truffles and that right now is a hit. We have tons of flavors and everyone's wanting to try all of those so they're kind of hard to keep on the shelf right now. We're always stacking those. The ice cream flavors are chosen based upon the time of the year. We've always had ice cream. We Right now we carry the chocolate shop out of Wisconsin. We love their ice, ice cream. Last weekend we had um, a watermelon, so that was the whole weekend. We kind of wore watermelon clothes and tropical things. Um, we did a lemon meringue, so that's kind of fun. We have key lime pie that we do. So kind of based on the season and time of the year, we kind of carry certain flavors of ice cream. The candy store is typically open for business in April, but due to COVID-19 restrictions, owners open their doors in May with multiple safety measures in place to keep staff and patrons safe. We do offer masks that people have to wear masks into the building and we offer hand sanitizer as well. And surprisingly enough, we haven't had anyone complain. So far, everyone's you know excited to come into the Ox, but we have um, a huge popular thing right now is saltwater taffy. With everything going on, we actually used to do saltwater taffy in barrels that you could hand select a few of this, try these, but now they're all prepackaged into half pound bags. Some of their top sellers include jelly beans, assorted chocolate, taffy, and ice cream. Staff say that it's important to have treats that are familiar, but also items from other areas that customers can try for the first time. We get our truffles from Vermont. We get a variety of those, which is kind of fun. A lot of um, some of our prepackaged candy chocolates that we get are from Apple Valley here in Minnesota. So it's kind of fun that we do support that. We get our saltwater taffy from out of state and that's huge. Our jelly bellies out of state too. So we get a lot of imported from all over the world. Our licorice, we have a whole gallery. So that's imported from different parts of the world as well. So we try to do some local and yet some that are, are so rare that we do have to have them. For this week's In Business, reporting in Niswa, Chantel Calhoun, Lakeland News. And for those who are planning to visit the Chocolate Ox this summer, staff members want to remind visitors to have on a mask before entering, as social distancing can be difficult inside their three different locations. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.